This tutorial discusses the integrated rate law. For a reaction where A is the reactants going towards the products, the rate law depends on the concentration of the reactant A. So the rate is equal to the rate constant times the concentration of A at the nth power. Remember, N has to be derived through experimentation, not from a balanced chemical equation. The integrated rate law is the rate law, but from a calculus point of view. It shows the relationship between the co concentration of A and the time of the reaction. The integrated rate law suggests a way to tell a reaction's order based on experimental data. So using calculus to integrate the rate law for a first order process gives you the natural log of the concentration of A at any time over the initial concentration of A is equal to negative the rate constant times time. Where once again A naught is the initial concentration of A and A T is the concentration of A at some time T during the course of the reaction. Manipulating this equation produces, so if we take natural log of A T over A naught we can substitute this out to have the natural log of AT minus the natural log of A naught is equal to negative KT. We rearrange this and it comes down to be the line point equation, the slope point inter slope intercept equation, where the K is the slope and the initial concentration is the intercept. Therefore, if a reaction is first order, a plot of ln of A versus time will yield a straight line and the slope of the line will be negative K or negative the rate constant. Consider the process is which, in which methyl isonitrile is converted to acetonitrile. This data was collected for this reaction at 198.9 degrees Celsius. So notice the concentration, the pressure, decreases as we go down and as time increases, the concentration decreases. It is not a straight line here for just the concentration. Whereas if we take ln of the pressure, the natural log of the pressure, suddenly becomes a straight line. When the natural log is plotted as a function of time, a straight line results. Therefore, the process is a first order. K is a negative slope of 5.1 times 10 to the negative 5. So that would be the rate constant now. So in other words, as you're going through the integrated rate laws, the way you want to do this is first plot the concentration, just the pure concentration or pressure, versus time. And if that does not give you a straight line, you're going to want to go to the next one, which is the natural log of pressure. And if that doesn't give you a straight line, then you want to keep going to the second order processes. Similarly, integrating the rate law for a process that is a second order in reactant A, we get 1 over A, where this is the Y k is still the slope and the 1 over a naught is the intercept. So if a process is second order in a, a plot of 1 over a versus time yields a straight line and the slope of the slope of that line is k. Note that the first order it was negative k whereas the second order is positive. The decomposition of NO2, that should just be nitrogen dioxide, take out that minus, at 300 degrees Celsius is described by the equation NO2 yields NO plus one half oxygen and yields a data comparable to this table. So if we look here, this tells us how the concentration changes over time. And here's a graph indicating that. 
that is not a straight line, so we know it's not a zero order. Now let's go to a first order, the ln of NO2. When we do this one, once again, it's not a straight line. There's a slight curve there. So we keep going to the second order, so we graph the 1 over NO2. Graphing 1 over NO2 versus time, however, gives this plot. Because this is a straight line, the process is second order in A. So what they've done here is they've taken the time, and they've taken the concentration, and then one divided by the concentration. They did that all the way down, and then made a plot of it. So as a summary, here are all the rate, all the orders that we're going to be discussing. At the zero order, if you do, concentration versus time, that'll give you a straight line. That means that it's that order. The negative k is the slope. If it's the first order, you do ln of a versus time, and that'll give you a straight line. Once again, negative k. And finally, the second order is 1 over a versus time, and that will give you a slope of K.